Zond 1 was launched on April 2nd, 1964 at 2.42 AM UTC from Gagarin's start at Baikonur Cosmodrome. It was launched on Ammonia M rocket and had a launch mass of about 890 kilograms. Its mission was to fly by Venus and in the process deploy a spherical landing capsule that could hopefully withstand the pressure of the Venusian atmosphere. On this mission, they did not get a chance to find out if the lander would work because there was a slow leak in the electronics compartment and since the electronics relied on vacuum tubes that could easily overheat without air cooling, the system went dead after already being placed on its path to Venus. It was typical of the Soviets to give a generic name to probes that failed, such as the previous attempt at Zond 1 which couldn't ignite its Block L transfer engine due to the failure of its Ullage rockets. That one was renamed Cosmos 27. But they did not do so after the probe was already on Earth escape. So this got the designation Zond 1, and it passed by Venus at a distance of 100,000 kilometers in July after having been unable to make correction burns. The Zond program was somewhat bizarre as it consisted of spacecraft of different shapes going to many different destinations. Zond 1 was a 3MV probe, which stood for third generation Mars Venus probe, with flybys of Mars and Venus costing roughly the same delta V and therefore allowing for the same probe size on an R7 based launcher. Zond 1 was a 3MV 1 probe, Zonds 2 and 3 were 3MV 4A probes. But then the Venera program also had 3MV probes. Uh, Venera 2, 3, 7, and 8 also used 3MV buses. Zon 2 was launched to Mars, but not Venus. And Zon 3 ended up being a lunar flyby. Zons 4 through 8 and their associated failures weren't 3MV probes at all, but uncrewed Soyuz vehicles launched by Proton rockets or the N1 rocket in lunar flyby attempts. So the Zon program is all over the place. Regardless of its failure, Zond 1 became the second Soviet probe to reach Venus, and third overall including the only successful flyby, that of Mariner 2. The Soviet Union had tried to launch to Venus nine times to this point with no successes, and to face two failures in Venera 2 and 3 that came close to success before finally starting a string of clear successes with Venera 4 in 1967.